Hello and welcome to the Power Archiver tutorial. After months of hard work, we're finally glad to show you some new features available in Power Archiver 2012. Um, so here we are, you're, you're looking at some of the new features uh, in our modern interface. Uh, the file list color coding is available now where uh, the list columns will change color uh, based on file size, compression ratio, and file type. Uh, for example, here we have a rather large file in our archive and it's highlighted with a darker color so it's uh, more emphasized. Um, the new explorer mode for reading archives uh, which shows paths as folders but does not display the contents of the hard drive so you can quickly uh, browse your uh, through the folders in your archive. The, uh, the preview button is uh, now a uh, smart tab available once you click one of your files to preview. So here we go. Uh, when you click away, the uh, preview button will disappear. Once you're previewing a file, it will appear and give you all the options that the preview uh, section does give you. Uh, the encryption option the, uh, is available here, here as in our column list. So all the files that are encrypted, which are in our archive, now have a little uh, encryption lock letting us know that these uh, files are encrypted. Uh, some new uh, security features that we have in this, in this version. We'll go to configuration so we can see those. Uh, password policies. Uh, which lets you select a password strength policy that's enforced. Uh, so whenever a user is entering the password to encrypt or uh, to encrypt the archive, uh, which makes your password stronger and much much harder to crack. Uh, temporary files wipe. Uh, it wipes your temporary files by using the Department of Defense method uh, for clearing and in, uh, information on writable media, and then you can select between one, three, and seven passes. Uh, of, of wiping. Uh, the password manager now has a uh, password profile uh, and uh, that allows you to set up a minimum password policy. Um, I'm sorry, that allows you to set up a password profile that you can, which you can select from a drop down menu during password entry. That makes your uh, encryption and decryption much, much faster. Now you can see all these uh, specific um, tutorials on these specific options on our YouTube page showing you exactly how they work. Now the new feature that we're most excited about is RAR support. In Power Archiver 2012 you're now able to uh, compress RAR files using the, co the WinRAR console. So all you'll have to do is uh, locate the RAR.exe uh, file located in the default WinRAR installation folder and Power Archiver will use that to compress and create RAR files. Um, another interface change that we have here, um, we now uh, have the easy interface available, putting all of our tools in one tab, uh, sort of organizing our interface with less tabs. But if you, if you like the advanced feature with the specific tabs available, we also have that as well. So um, there we are. Uh, again, uh, most of these uh, new features have their own specific tutorials on our YouTube page, and we invite you to take a look and see how our new features work in Power Archiver 2012. Thank you.